Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're well today. Today I'm going to talk to you about my next series of webinars, my Cosmic Body series. And the one that I am producing for August is called Being Home with Each Other, Heightened Sexuality, and creating your own activations and experiences. Won't that be wonderful to create your own stuff? It's going to begin starting, and it already is starting up for some people. This is part of the, I guess, disparity that some people are seeing out there is there's people having experiences and other people are saying, wait a minute, how come I'm not having that experience or how what's happened for me and in this I teach you how to get your channels open which is to bring in your own higher energies your own higher energies not someone else's not some archangel or some ascended masters yours your higher self exists how do you get there well this is a simultaneous process. It's going on simultaneously of releasing and bringing in higher stuff at the same time. So some people call it downloads and up upgrades. Other people call it purging. Other people call it just getting sick. They'll call it the ascension flu. However, I want to let you know that since August 2016, this lion's gate, this gate is closing and people will begin elevating to 5d it's important that be, they be prepared there are people together there are people that i am firmly expecting the universe to smush them back together where they meet each other it's very much a fabulous surprise and they will need to know things you'll need to know how to clear parts of your body and how to hold each other's energies within now, I've been doing this for a while. It's taken a bit to distill it down into a teachable form. And for people that are blue golden, you may find that some of this is a bit easier for you simply because for Blu-ray people and blue golden people, you were born usually most of the time with at least 18 to 20 chakras open, if not more. And depending on what your high level agreements are, you are aware of some of this. So this is some of the difference you see. However, the playing field's been leveled. These opportunities exist for everyone. It's the willingness of the heart. It's the willingness to say, I don't know how, but I can feel I belong to it. Or he or she belongs to me. And how? How do I remove the obstacles and get things out of the way and get ready to go beyond this. How do we begin creating? And that is what I teach. So I'm going to be talking about clearing your Stargate connections and closing old connections so nobody can disturb you or interfere. The crown chakra located here, anchored here, and through and in and your 5D anchoring. You are anchoring 5D here for yourself, not for everybody. That is a key difference. You need to anchor it for yourself first and foremost or else you cannot turn around and help anybody. The other thing to know about it is we are not merging 3D and 5D together, not whatsoever. They are two distinct separate places. You are able to bring in love you're able to make love if you are a true twin flame couple and you're bringing the harmonics you're making things harmonious how do you do that without beating your head against the wall about it so um, we are also continuing to collapse 4d and 5d old connections i talk about that and how to do it the crown is clearing through you doing this through the body and I tell you how to use herbals in the form of oils and internally to help you get rid of this 
how to clear things. I talk about the 40 archetypal twin flame specters that you are releasing at a very rapid pace. For some people, this is going to be their shadowy stuff. And it's going to go quickly and it will make your head spin. And if I can recommend something, get it gone as soon as possible. I give you the tools to do that in here. I talk about your galactic causal bodies. What does causal mean? Causal means that the very impulse or feeling or wishing that you want something causes it to happen. It's different than cause and effect. Here, you have to push something, poke something, prod something, burn something to get it moving. Um, it works more like a combustion engine like your human body does. It's the um, third law of thermodynamics. But in the higher realms, at the galactic level, this is for people that identify with Andromeda, which is going to be a lot of gay males, and our own Milky Way galaxy, your galactic causal bodies. That's the part we're in, your cosmic body and galactic body chakras. And they do exist. You have them. There's more subtle parts to you than you may realize. I have information for the Rod and Staff Blu-ray and the Illumined Seraphim. This is going to be Seraphim and Ophanum. For clearing the root of old connections. This is going to be old business connections, marital connections, clearing out kids. This is going to be, um, you know, setting things where they need to be towards your union. Or not. Who belongs in your union? It should be you and your twin. That's it. I talk about creating safe zones. I talk about your mission and how it pertains to you and your twin. This is These are hot topics. Making safe zones for yourself. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. I talk about that in here. And collapsing unwanted timelines. What does this mean? For some people, it might be the equivalent of, I've worked at the same company and my dad worked here for 30 years and you're going to be collapsing it because you're not going to be there for the next 30 years. You've got something bigger and better for yourself laid out in front of you. But how are you going to recognize it, take away the fears and leap for it? You will try the tools in this which helps you. Uh, because the biggest thing that I will say that I've noticed lately is a lot of this is uh, the removal of old stuff. That's not really being ad addressed in a full scope because there's removal of things and then there's not, how do you get the new energies in? Okay, so a lot of people can talk about, well, this is how you heart communicate. Heart communication is not telepathy. But what they leave out is, how do you get rid of the ego mind fears that pop up? Because it's popping up for everybody. And I do talk about that in here. It would be a disservice to not address both aspects of that. I talk about that. The other thing of utmost importance to people, sexual relations with your twin flame, not other people, with your twin flame, the internal polarity shift and celibacy and this celibacy can take the form of a temporary impotence it can take the form of feeling as though you have to be hands-off it can feel as though you have no arousal like you might be dead from the waist down even if the heart and mind is willing you'll find that there are things about this to your sexual relations with your twin flame where things seem to go on hold for just a short time. I don't want to alarm people. This may have happened to some people already, but some people are going to be walking into the time frame where it's time to hold up here, get your adjustments going, and that you find that you're celibate or that your twin flame is when you may have been the one who's been celibate for quite a, a while here. So um, this is available on my website. 
this is um, going to cover a lot. And the format is uh, about an hour. And do make the time to try the exercises. This one in particular has about six exercises, and I am including a breathing exercise. That is going to be very important for the months ahead. Learning to properly breathe in tight situations is going to be extremely important. Opening the channels that you would breathe through properly is of utmost importance. And I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying this to entice you to say there is more than just having a cup of coffee with your twin flame and a cuddle and a snuggle. There is more because you have a life that exists beyond this physical plane of living. If you have children, there are things in my webinars that will also help your children adjust. Many children are going through the death throes of their own karma, and it's unrecognizable because they may look as though they're just having issues or going through puberty or growing pains. And yet, if, you, if you're ignoring some of the things that your kids are going through, and it's a challenge. If you have yourself, you're trying to focus on yourself, your twin, and maybe you have other members of the family and children, this is a challenge. This is not, take some of the guest work out. Invest in yourself. It's worth it. I want to let you know that the activations are within the exercises of these webinars, especially this one. The activation is within it. Only you can work your inner parts, and that's where the cosmic connections are. They're on the inside. They're not outside. They're not going to be able to be touched by a Reiki master or someone that works with energy. This is not to discredit someone who works with energies. I myself work with energies. I myself do sessions and readings. However, when it comes to your going home where you're really from, it's on the inside. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I can say is you do it through your body. You share parts with your twin flame. And for some people, they're ultra sensitive. They will feel as though if someone else touches their energy, they don't want that. They, it feels like interference. It feels like interference to be near anyone, to go to the grocery store. How do you get yourself to the point where you can go to a grocery store, you can go to a concert, you can go to a film, you can go to a show, you can go to a picnic and not feel like other people's stuff is bothering you. Because more people will begin awakening and they may have uh, you know, some of those experiences that are not all light and fluffy. They may have angry days, they may have really down days and if they're near you, if you have to work with them, you don't want them dragging you down or draining your energy. You've worked very hard to be at this point. It's been a struggle just to stay afloat long enough to be here. So do yourself a very great service and focus on what it is that you truly need to bring yourself into the next levels. Because as my higher self has pointed out, we are not going back into the fifth dimension carrying all of our baggage with us. We're not carrying electronics. We're not carrying old, dense um, connections, resentments, wounds. We're not carrying low emotions. And we're both, most definitely not carrying a bunch of people with us. You're here to be free once again. That's what being sovereign is. It's being free. It's being free to feel your own guidance, your own connections, the things that belong to you, the things that you're going to create. That, that's what people call their mission. What's my mission? You're really asking, what is it I'm going to create? What are we going to create? And some people are really lost with this. They are in an in-between space. They're not in the old or they've been laid off from a job or somehow kicked out, disenfranchised, and they can feel all their potentials. 
and all of their timelines are collapsing around them and they don't know which end is up. They don't know what to do first. That is what that is why with this one I give you a breathing exercise because that breathing exercise will reset you so that you can so that you can actually start to feel a sequence in quantum time. Quantum time is not linear time. You're going to this level and there is still time, but the time is dictated by the turning of the galaxy. It is your galactic causal bodies and what you feel, when you feel to pause, when you feel to take actions. And that's going to be very important going forward here. At a human level, a lot of this is very confusing. And yet, I will say to you this, it's not a head thing. The more that you work on this kind of stuff, this is where it gets infused right into you and there is no questions. It comes so quickly that you'll just know. So I hope that you'll try my webinar. Um, the link for it is listed below and I also do um, provide those additional things with it as additional support for you. Please try it. Thank you to everyone who has bought my webinar in the past. I think you'll find that this is a really good one because this has a really lot of timely, pertinent information that you can keep referencing. You can keep referencing this. You could work on it for a month. You can do this 24-7 at your leisure in your own place. You don't have to get on a plane. You don't have to um, you know, be on anyone else's schedule for this. This downloads right to you and it's accessible again and again so that you can refer to it. Some people do that, so it's sort of like having uh, a good film where they will uh, review it again and they will see other things uh, that maybe they didn't notice before. So thank you very much. Uh, again, check the description below for the link. It's going to be available and it is there and we are moving and we are going to keep moving. I really look forward to reports people have of going places. Another thing that I talk about in here is uh, my 3D doesn't match my 5D. I talk about that in here. So thanks so much. Enjoy. Bye.